Hey everyone, and welcome back. I've been dropping the hints for a while now, we've been talking about those Migos. So I suppose it's finally about time to actually play some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I've been playing a little bit of this in my off time, so I figured, yeah, just play a little bit of it on my own time too, why not? So I have went ahead and I've set up a world here in Le East Los Angeles. Pretty sure that's how that's pronounced. Uh, if we check our uh, world settings here, mostly vanilla, mostly. I have a couple rebalancing mods, stat through skills, slash stat through kills, and speedy decks. I think that makes logical sense. If uh, my character kills a bunch of zombies, he should get stronger. I mean, yeah, I could put it into intelligence, that wouldn't really make any sense, but I'll probably mostly put it into like strength and stuff. Uh, as for world options, it's mostly vanilla as well, except I have carry-on uh, turned off because I think that's just bugs, and I think it's annoying, <laughs> so uh, that's off. I have uh, random NPC spawn time increased, which means uh, they're going to be spawning more often. I, kn I know it's, it's lower than the default. Two is smaller than four, but the weird way this works is a higher number is the... Uh, lower chance of an NPC spawn, or time between spawns. I don't think this will matter. <laughs> um, in all my downtime, I've never seen an NPC spawn, even though I've been playing at this half spawn time. So maybe we'll one day see an NPC, who knows. Uh, other than that, it's uh, I have Wandering Hordes on because I, I think that's neat. And that, that's about it for world settings. I also have a man over here, if we go to new game, I want a preset character, because I already created a good old wither. We gotta wait for uh, 300,000 things to be checked off here. Alright, so, here is my good old man whose name is gone now, I don't know why. I can save it as a thing, but it removes his name, I don't know why. Um, if we hop back to look at all the stuff, I'm on free form. I just think that's, with Cataclysm, your profession, like, costs points, and I, I just think it's more interesting to be able to pick whatever profession you want, so uh, I'm on freeform right now. Uh, scenario is just very basic, it's missed. We have 210 different places we could spawn when we start. Uh, profession, I just did a piece of the literary boy, he doesn't have anything really special, he's got vehicles and social, that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I'll never see anyone, probably. And I've never seen the vehicle skill do anything, so this is more or less just a uh, blank slate of a man. Uh, though he does have some pizza. <laughs> He's got some pizza and some money. So, uh, that, that's something. Uh, all my stats I have at base 8s. That's the default, and I'm leaving it at the default, because we're going to level up and we're going to get new stuff. As for my traits, I... Uh, I guess we can look over here. I'm not picking any of these either since I'm doing freeform. I don't want to mess with these. We'll learn them as they come. Uh, but my traits, which we can kind of see here, if I use the mouse actually. I have fast reader, fleet footed, uh, night vision, parkour expert, and tough. I, I try to do just one good, one bad. So we got heavy sleeper, high thirst, squeamish, truth teller, and ugly. These kind of, these ones are sort of free since I, <laughs> I never run into anyone anyway. Uh, more or less, this is just quality of life. I read books faster. We don't have to watch me read a book. It, it's it's like the worst part of Project Zomboid is sitting there watching your guy read a book for 10 hours. Same thing here. It's a fast reader. Uh, fleet footed just means you're a little faster on uh, solid ground, which is pretty nice. You want to run away from things a lot. Uh, night vision lets you see a little farther in the dark, which... um. Hasn't really been too helpful now that I think about it. The zombies usually see me at the same time I see them, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, parkour expert, I always take because it means you can clamber up wall, well not walls, but uh, drain pipes and over fences without your guy falling and smashing his face. <laughs> Attempting to do parkour without being an expert, uh, bad idea. And then tough just to even it out. We have heavy sleepers, so if a zombie comes knocking on my door, I'll probably ignore it. Um, high thirst, he's gonna be a thirsty lad. He seems to be thirsty regardless of if I take high thirst, so why not? Uh, squeamish is probably the one interesting one. You can't wear clothes that are dirty. 
90% of the clothes you're going to... Actually, probably 99% of the clothes you're going to encounter... It's going to be dirty because they're going to be on zombies. So if I find a cop with, like, a ballistic vest and a holster with a gun... I'm just going to have to leave it. I can take the gun. Gun can not be dirty. But I can't take that ballistic vest or the holster or body armor that I find on dead bodies or anything. I'm going to have to either uh, make my own, find my own... Or break out the washboard and start cleaning it. <laughs> Which, um... Hope you find soap. You won't find any soap in a mall, I'll tell you that much. Uh, truth teller, you can't lie. Uh, I never... You, I never am in a conversation with an NPC. <laughs> so that hasn't mattered. And uh, ugly just means some people are mean to you because you're ugly. <laughs> so that that's more or less our, uh, our little man here. So one social, four vehicles, which doesn't matter... Uh, these are just default. More or less, everything's default other than the traits. And we're gonna do a random location if we... I can <laughs> change my height. I can be really tall if I wanted to. I don't believe any of this stuff matters. If you look at random location, there's a lot. We're gonna be in a town somewhere. Be at a house. There's 92 different houses. Golf course, golf course, zoos, cemetery, church, bookstore, library, furniture store, garage, grocery store, or a house. So, like, no gun stores or no hardware stores. Nothing helpful to me. Uh, golf course, I think, is pretty good. They, ha they have some nice backpacks. Let's just go ahead and jump in. I hope everything looks not terrible. Uh, this game is really easy to run. You just download it and start it. Getting the font to not look terrible, that's a whole other issue. So here we are, Mr. Man. Uh, we seem to be, I think we're in a church. There's uh, stained glass windows there. But here is our man. There's already, no, there's barking. Southwest and below you, you hear barking times eight. Am I in a church full of dogs? Something is happening here, I don't know. Uh, but let's take a little look at our man here. Uh, let's see. I already have plus one dex. Uh, I got plus one... Well, no, why do I have plus one dex, actually? <laughs> um, is it because of the vehicles? Uh, mm, see, this would be dex. These being higher would be dex. Because I think, it, like, if you if you start with skills, it will level up your, uh, your stuff up here when you start the game. Uh, I guess vehicles can count as decks? Uh, maybe. I would have thought this would be more perception. But who knows? Uh, but I have one extra dex. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure how much stats matter in this game. I just know higher numbers are better most of the time. My dude is overweight. That's That actually should be fine. Uh, I actually have a really hard time keeping weight on in this game. Like, I don't know if it's just with a recent beer beard build I am using the experimental and I always have trouble my guy is like always calorie deficient I I smash down like everything I can get a hold of he's always so hungry um we are a little encumbered on the head and the torso not much else anywhere else and we're gonna be very cold very soon uh so I, I suppose I'll explain this a little for anyone who doesn't know all the systems here and I'll probably just explain them as they come up. I, we're going to be here for 100 years if I try and explain everything. Uh, but uh, just just baseline, this is how cold I am right now. I'm negative 25 temperature. You want to be zero. <laughs> so uh, my mouth is very cold. I know it says I'm comfortable right now, but that's just going to keep falling. And then I'll, I'll start having some negative effects once that happens. Let's see, what do I have? We have a cell phone, a vegetable pizza... And a meat pizza. Actually, we have a cardboard box full full of pizzas, four servings of pizza. So I guess I eat 25 of per, 25 percent of a pizza at a time. And we also have a money bundle, which I don't actually know if you can do anything with this. It's it wait it, the price is zero dollars. There are stores in this game. There's like automated stores, and you can put your bank your money in the bank and put it on a card and go to vending machines. But um, I'm not sure if you can put this bundle in there. It's apparently a bundle of $20 bills. But it, it's worth nothing. Interesting. 
All right, we also have a pair of socks, briefs, baseball cap, t-shirt, jeans with my uh, cell phone and my money. I guess I'm holding the pizzas right now. A pair of sneakers, a light jacket, a wristwatch, and oh no, I got a bag. Sweet, I got a bag. <laughs> I currently have a bag with all the pizza in it. Um, so odds are we're on, yeah we're on the second we're on the roof of a church. Well, don't know if I ever spawned above ground floor before. That's interesting. Uh, we have a radio tower over here, a couple houses, uh, green V's, pretty much always a house. Uh, any other collar is like, these are all going to be some weird, uh, oh no, don't do that. That's what happens when the, the mouse play comes into play. You, you don't want to bring the mouse in too often. Uh, there's a dojo over there. Interesting. Th there's a lot of stuff I have not seen in this game. Gun store roof. Ah, that's gonna be pretty. Uh, hmm. That's gonna be good. Normally, uh, I don't. I don't have that much experience. To, I, I have a lot of experience, but not that much because this game changes so often. Um, but when I was playing this game a couple hours ago, I did encounter a gun store that had multiple levels, which is good because you can lockpick the upstairs door. If it's only got the one uh, floor. The only way to lockpick the door is to stand in front of the road where all the zombies are. So this way you can sneak up on the roof and unlock the door. So maybe we'll head over there. There's another one. Wait, are we just one level up? If it's one level up, then maybe not. No, we're two levels up. So that is, there's two uh, three-story gun stores in this town. Uh, let's just let's just see what we got. Yeah, there. Mm, there's a couple zombies, um, right about uh, here, and uh, maybe here, so, um, one here, <laughs> there's a couple, couple zombies. Uh, I got, I turned the map off because <laughs> the mouse is going to get me again. What is actually in this town? Let's see, we have an office tower, a candy shop, car dealership, uh, we can maybe get a car, it works, radio tower. Uh, some roads, some houses, gun stores, community garden, scrapyard, dispensary, pond, dump, collapsed tower. Don't know what that is. Uh, oh, I guess it's just, I guess it's just an office tower that's been collapsed. Okay. There is a doctor's office. Uh, we may want to go there. There's a lot of candy stores. Candy stores and ponds. How many, how many ponds are actually here? There's five ponds in this one town. Why? In case you want to just see all of the ponds. And I think that's a train station. No, it's a trailer park. We also have an evac. That's probably where we want to head. We want to get out of town. If we stay in town. Uh, well, I'm, it's not going to end well, to be honest. There is a bookstore. Ideally... We hit the bookstore and get out of town. I don't see that happening though. We gotta go like into the heart of town to get to that bookstore. Probably not gonna happen. Probably. Uh, let's see here. I like have my inventory on the left. Only thing here is a copper pot and a grape drink. Well, uh, that pot. No, that's the grape drink. I need the pot. Can I use this as a weapon? It's six, but it it's terrible. It's got a negative two to hit bonus. I could theoretically throw this at someone though. Uh, I guess we might as well just open the door. There's a lot of barking downstairs. Why is there so, many so much barking? There's 18 barking in the last 10 seconds. All right. And you can see, uh, we can't really see too much. I don't have that great of sight vision. Let us go check what's up here. I've never actually been in a church in this game, so I don't know what uh, what this is going to look like. It's a blanket, a downfield blanket, and a pillow. That doesn't help me at all. A sweater and another sweater. Mm. Do I want this sweater? Hmm. That would be the worst idea, but I probably won't keep it long. I end up getting hot a lot in this game. I know I'm cold right now. Um, so I've got like I've got nothing on my arms, so my arms are gonna get cold. I'm looking at it because it uh, it's 
got that sweet, sweet protection. If you look here, so uh, the way this works is you have many body parts. So this, uh, this sweater is going to cover your torso and your arms 95% of the time. So if a zombie punches you for 13 damage, 95% of the time, uh, it's going to block three of that. I believe that's how that works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how that works. That's that's how I've been working off of this. But it, it this is the chance to block damage. And this is how much damage it's going to block. Granted, I've seen zombies do way more than three, so this really won't, won't help. But if you get hit by, get hit by like 30 punches, and you get rid of three each, that's 90 damage you avoided. So that's pretty nice. Um, but it's very nice because it's 95. It also has very little encumbrance. Encumbrance comes in, if I don't, I hit all the right keys. This keyboard's a little different than the other keyboard I've been using. So I'm going to hit the wrong keys a lot. So if we come over here and look at encumbrance, encumbrance does different things. So on your head, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> but on the torso, it affects your attack accuracy. Too much encumbrance, like when you get to like 50%, it's minus 50% chance to hit an enemy. And that is a terrible, terrible thing to have. You'll be swinging your baseball bat and you'll be hitting nothing. So you don't want that to be too high. You want that to be low. So this thing, it's giving me plus three for five. Uh, granted, it's going to be, let's just actually go ahead and wear that. Why not? See how it interacts. Uh, I did lose nudist. You know, ripping pepperoni that achievement. Uh, wear no clothing. There's a couple of these that I don't. I don't really know how you're supposed to do this. Like this one, eat nothing. <laughs> how do you get past a week? Surely your guy just dies. You take overweight and then not thirsty, like low thirst, maybe. I'm not sure if there's any way to get liquids without eating. So I don't know about that. Let us look at our thing. Okay, so we are wearing multiple normal layer items, so it adds extra encumbrance. So we're up to 17. Uh, but you can see everything we're wearing on our torso, and then we can take our arms. So arms, not really too bad. Um, arms, I believe, I'll say it's accuracy as well. It's stamina cost, but also accuracy with ranged weapons. And then hands is how good you are at reloading can't really reload if you're wearing 35 pairs of leather gloves. But for right now, we're going to have a minus 20% chance to hit enemies. Not the best thing ever. But we can also, that is butcher, not drop. We can also come over here and drop our messenger bag, which should up our encumbrance or lower our encumbrance by quite a lot. Yeah, so now it's only 9% chance reduction. So ideally, when we fight enemies, we want to uh, drop our backpack. Also, ideally, we want a weapon to fight enemies with. We don't have that right now. There's a roof. Um, anything in here? Ah, uh, that's a good. That's a good question. What is that? See, that's me. That is. What is this? English translation of several old Norse poems. All right, I don't need that. Uh, when you look at books, the only thing that really matters is does it say just for fun? <laughs> if it says just for fun, then you can ignore it. If it doesn't, then you want to pick it up. Oh, there's a garden on the roof. And this door is locked, so I'm going to have to go in uh, inside and unlock it, maybe. Yeah, that can't be good. We may need to... Oh, there's a garage. I wonder if we can get anything from there. There's another bookstore. We don't even have to go... I go to the center of town. Uh, there's just roses up here. See, now I'm worried. I Do you hear all that? I don't want to go downstairs. Like, at all. I think... See, I can't... Can I... Hmm... I don't think we're gonna have any weapons. Wait, can I just, uh... Oh, look at there, the roofs are connected. How convenient. Is a soda can up here? Yeah, it's full, it's beer. I may need that. Uh, let, let's take, oh, there's stuff over here. What's over here? 
There's just a wood saw and some tables. Crackers, oatmeal, and peaches. Aluminum can. Frying pan, that's that's a weapon. It's not a very good weapon, but it's a weapon. What store is this? Um, it's a pawn shop. See, thankfully, I am a parkour expert, so I can actually just jump roofs. Only one tile, so I'm kind of confined to this little 3x3 uh, three three here, but any... Oh, that's why there's a pond right there. Anytime there's a big open area, it's always full of zombies. Ponds, playgrounds, parks. All terrible, terrible places. Um, well, it's got negative 3 to hit, but it is 12 damage. Which, um, that's better than nothing. Give me that cast iron pan. <laughs> now I have a tiny pan. Wood saw? I could, mmm. I could chop up a chair. Well, I can chop a tree, apparently. I can't chop down. Oh, there's a brazier here, too. Can I take this? I can. It'll fit in my backpack. Very handy. This is actually really good stuff. This is stuff you want to make yourself, but it's all just here. <laughs> Uh, I don't have enough room for that. M. Why am I deaf? That's a lot. Ooh, what in the world happened there? Ten seconds ago, your ears ring. Smash and crash. What has happened below me? See, when, when I see that, I think of a car just drove into the building. But no one drives cars but me. See, I'm deaf in so... Oh, there's so much... There's a lot of noise coming in from below me. I'm not going to climb down. Nope, no, I want to go. I want to jump over. Uh, is there a reason you want to want to jump over? Oh, I'm too burned for that. Okay, I got too much stuff in my backpack. Uh, I guess I can just drop the crackers. Like, who cares about the crackers and the oatmeal? I got pizzas. Let's go. Uh, oh, there's an alarm going off below me. That's not good. Let us jump over. Uh, still too encumbered. I mean, like, my weight is like 13. I guess I'll drop the brazier. The brazier's not too hard to build yourself. I do want to keep the wood saw, though. Uh, jump over. Thank you. There are a lot of guys below me. Like a ridiculous amount of guys. Um, let's see, below is grass and dirt. Oh, below is a chain link fence. Alright, I think we're going to drop down to here. And then we're going to run along this chain link fence. That should keep anything that's right here. Oh, uh, away from us, and if there's something bad that's here, I'll jump the fence, so. We're going to, uh, we're going to climb, well, actually, before we do this, we're going to go ahead and start running. I don't know why it said I was hauling items. I must have clicked the haul button at some point. Doesn't matter, there's no items to haul. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start running, which increases our movement a little bit. It is red. Probably cold. No? Just going to be red for no reason? I can't actually get to the speed section, so I have no idea. Is it going to change if I go to walk? I guess that's how many how much it costs to, to uh, move. I, I have no idea. I just know running's faster. <laughs> I am not, not the foremost expert of this. We're going to climb down. Uh, we will have problems climbing back up, but we're going to die here. We just stay on the roof. All right. Well... There's a couple guys down here. Is that is that a running car? Well, I hope it's not that one. It doesn't have any wheels. That one's got wheels. No controls, though. Gonna be hard to drive a car when the controls have been destroyed. Probably can't get the bus. Let's be honest. The odds of me getting a bus probably uh probably pretty low. On the bright side, we did drop down right next to headless zombies, so, um, they're dumb. They're over there attacking uh, a busted grocery bot. I don't actually know what this thing does. I guess it... 
can carry bags for you? Maybe maybe it's like an NPC. There's a military guy over there in the car dealership. Car dealership's pretty banged up. There is an interesting car, a security van over there. I wonder if that runs. Ah, the wheels are destroyed, probably. Uh, we do want to go ahead and climb this. And we'll stop running, because this is a slow crawler, man. There's a bird over there. Hello, Mr. Bird. What are you doing? It's just a raven. No, it's a crow. Where's that barking coming from? We're surrounded by brainless zombies, zombies, feral humans, zombie child, crawling zombies, zombie runner, busted grocery bot, and zombie soldier. Hmm. I guess we're gonna head straight for that garage across the street. Uh, I probably shouldn't have dove into that pit there. Oh, I'm a skate park, really. Uh, bird trash. Don't want to touch that. I don't think it matters, but I didn't want to anyway. What kind of garage is this? <laughs> it's like a cabin instead of a garage. There's a car out front. There's a car out front with, like, a heavy-duty frame. Controls are busted. Why are all the controls busted? Who did this? There is another one over here. There's so many cars. There's so many cars here. Front, uh, front little section. Ah, the wheel's destroyed, too. Uh, security system's intact. That's even worse. You can't drive it if this is security system's on. I mean, I think you can try, but I don't think it works most of the time. Alright, that was a terrifying noise, but it was just a rock. If we come here, um... You see a luxury car's wheels have been destroyed. Uh, but the feral human has thrown a rock at me. Which, uh, so far has never done anything. <laughs> the feral human, pupils dilated, and what remains to be seen of the iris and Spelleria? Spelleria? I have no idea. Um, he's insane, so the zombies ignore him. I assume he's gonna be a little faster than a zombie, so I need to maybe not get bludgeoned to death with sticks. Because that's what they're gonna do. What in the world is this? A portable generator? Oh. Anyway, we are the god of parkour, however. So, we can try this door. Door's locked. And instead, we'll just climb the roof. Alright, what in the... What kind of garage is this? There's no inside to the garage. The garage literally had a generator and nothing else. Alright. Fine. House, bookstore, house, and house. Some nice, hopefully non-murderous stuff kind of up here. So we'll go ahead and uh, climb down. Not too worried about where we're climbing down here. A zombie over... I actually... Am I on a pipe right now? No. <laughs> it, I just had a little thing because I just topped off the roof. Um, let's see. I don't think these doors can be locked. But it is just a blast door, so zombies will get through that fairly quickly. There's an open window. If I can sneak around the zombie. Try for this door. Hmm... I mean, odds are I'll just walk down here. Okay, zombie decided to break through the window. Uh, two small children in the middle of the alley here. Thankfully, I have a frying pan. Store is mine. There's a map. Look at that. Road map. I want that. Zombies are probably going to come after me. I don't want the permanent marker. <laughs> I took the permanent marker. That doesn't help me. See, just for fun, just for fun, and just for fun. Doesn't help me. See, doing this, I can see all of them, but again, they're mostly just for fun. And you can kind of tell, like, thriller novel, that's probably just for fun. Uh, how to survive the apocalypse, probably not just for fun. That probably has to have something in it. All up, so monthly awesome. There's English words, I can't, I just can't do it. Yeah, that one, that one's actually. Not for fun. It can be understood by beginners. So you can read it and increase your tailoring skill, which is very useful. I do want that. I believe Eat Your Way to a Fit Physique is a cooking book. I don't care about that, though. Biodiesel, I want to say is mechanics. Um, that's just for fun. That doesn't help. Also, mouse, get out of here. I'm, I'm going to forget that mouse, like, left and right. 
Uh, that's a bunch more nothing. Usually, if it's got um, numbers after it, it's also just for fun. AAA guide. I'm already a god of cars, so no thanks. Swim planet. Now teach me to swim, <laughs> which is never used in this game. It is used solely right now over here in the, um, the athletics. It's only for athletics. <laughs> and you're never swimming because you can't swim with a shotgun. You can, it just would be a bad idea. So I really just use it to increase my strength. So I might as well take a swim planet. I believe that's social because it's convincing people. Play guide, computer world will be for computers that could be useful for later. That is just a uh, home guide to distillation. That's probably cooking. Engineering 301 is a very late engineering book, but it could be very useful. These are more cooking books. Um, yeah, I could just do this to see all of them, technically. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of them. I'm not too interested in grabbing them right now. There's cannabis seeds over there on that table. Um, South Mill Quarterly, Trapper's Life. Uh, these, those couple are pretty good. That's gonna be, uh, probably devices, uh, mechanics, and I think that's survival. But I don't think we need level one survival. Uh, let's see, tortilla chips, potato chips. No thanks. I'll take the mineral water though. Something to drink. I don't particularly want to go out there. There's like a tow truck. A weird looking tow truck. No thanks. Did we ever see that security van? We can't see it now. There's a dump. No, that's not. That's a construction site. There's a bunch of technician zombies over here. We'll try and steal my frying pan. See, we can't really... Is that boarded up? That's a boarded up house. I don't know how to feel about that. Let's just smash the window out here. And we'll sneak out down this way. We're not going to be able to go in this house, I don't think. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's why I was... Win oh, but there's a bicycle down here. Except the foot pedal's been destroyed, so I'd have to push myself on the floor. That's not going to work. Feral runners. As you can see, he's running. And he wants to eat me. It's very, very fast. Do not want. Do not want. We are going to not use all our stamina because that would be a terrible decision. Instead, we're going to clamber onto this roof because the roof is the safest place to ever be. Actually, I want over here. We should... See, here, here's my here's my two ideas now. A, get up here. Ah, see, the zombies are so close. They'll probably still find me up there, and I don't have a weapon. Best thing may be going to the evac shelter and living in the woods for like a day and a half and build some weapons. Let's see, can we get anything out of that? We got a pipe out of it. Yeah, we should uh, use the pipe instead. Uh, the pipe has plus one to attack. Um... Is there something in my frying pan? What is in that frying pan? There's nothing in this frying pan. What are you talking about, game? <laughs> Why did you think there was something in that frying pan? All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just uh, speed time through, which I don't have time. Where's my time? Does this not have time on it? Oh, uh, that's probably location, isn't it? Yeah, that's location. I had that turned off. Uh, as you can see, my, my real estate over here is kind of weird. I can't figure out how to get this smaller. <laughs> I want this log to be longer. But, um... If I, if I like, move the log, like, this, this thing is just so big. I can turn it off, mind you. And, oh, here's my log now. I can see things. But I kind of like having the map. <laughs> Map's kind of helpful. I don't know. Uh, it's currently 8.13, so if I hold down the skip turn key, you can see a couple minutes pass, and I get my stamina back, as seen up here by my stamina bars. So the way these work is it starts straight, side, and then I think it's just gone. I want to say it's how it goes. And so, like, 100% health, and 80% health, 60, 40, 20 is dead. And then same as percentage for stamina. So right now, all my limbs and torso are currently intact. 
I am at full speed, I suppose. Got that extra little dex. It's currently a nice clear day. It's bright. It's spring day 61, which I think is the default now. It's pretty early in the morning. Okay, maybe not pretty early. 8 a.m. is not that early. Um, and I'm currently very neutral about the situation. Nothing, nothing too weird's happened uh, anytime soon. Nothing's affecting me, so I'm just kind of like, eh, eh, whatever. So now that we have our stamina, we're going to climb down. Here's the issue. You know what? N just before we do that, maybe we'll run across the road. Those guys, theoretically, have sprinted around the house coming for me. I'm not going to be, be able to outrun them in a field. That is my issue. Especially, oh no, they didn't care. They're dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. There's even more over here. Alright. There's no one in the field down there. My mini-map kind of looks a little weird. Um. Yeah, we're going to climb north. We're gonna we're gonna hop into this house then. If, if they're not, climb down. Oop! You gotta you gotta actually hit all these keys correctly. There's so many keys. Yeah, there's one here too. Quickly, I want this. <laughs> I want this string. String's hard to come by. You want the string? Doors locked. That is the opposite of something you want to hear. Why are the odds this is a dead end? That's a dead end. Also dead end. Pop that window open. Is that a sword? That's a survival knife. That is not as good as a sword. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna do this. Uh, why is it so heavy? <laughs> Come on! My guy couldn't pull the bro the bookcase. Fine, fine. I don't think I'm grabbed. He's gonna he's gonna get me a little bit. You saw my thought process there. Go ahead and. Uh, Smash that door closed. All right, I got. I didn't get too messed up. I've never had that much issue moving a bookcase before, <laughs> to be honest. Usually, it's fairly easy to move the bookcase. But I was going to move the bookcase in the way, and then you know, get things done. Yeah, look at this. Look, I can move it just fine now. I mean, it's. I strained myself, but I didn't fell it. All right, we're on the second floor, so we're a little fine. I'm not gonna move that bookcase again. I wouldn't, okay, I'm not even bleeding anymore. I was just like a minor scratch. So I'm at, um, I don't know, 95 health probably. I didn't take that much damage. You can't tell, there's a uh, perk where you can tell exactly how much, but I think the numbers kind of look bad when they're up there. Cause it's just a number instead of like a percentage. Well, like a, a health bar with a percentage on it. So, I don't know, it's kind of harder to uh, grasp because I don't, it's not a percentage, it's just how much health you have. So this will be like 60. I'll be like, well, is 60 full health or is that 40% dead? And if your max hit points is 60, then it's, you know, it's kind of weird. I can sneak around here though. Why do we got, oh, there's pills. It's aspirin. I am in minimal pain, might as well take an aspirin. <laughs> I guess I could have just walked down the hall, but whatever. Uh, I am a couple doors away from them, so I'm not too worried at the moment. Uh, leather traps, 65% for 6-6. Six, six. There's motorcycle armor. See, you got some, well, that's kind of bad. Not really good for ballistic, because they start shooting me. But uh, really bad encumbrance. More or less minus 30% chance to hit just by wearing this stuff. Thing is, it's poor fit, so this is doubled. It would be uh, halved if it actually fit me. Also, football armor, but um, it's got high, but it's only like a 50% chance, and also really high encumbrance. And I don't think you can make it fit you, so. I wouldn't recommend football armor. There's a tie. Car sealer instructions. There's car sealer. Oh, can sealer. <laughs> I got like, confused with the car stuff. Um, that's probably food then. I suppose I can wear this necktie, like why not? <laughs> the, the chance it does anything is zero. But why not? 
I, I hit C, but it didn't close the door because I didn't pick which one. Um, and there's checkers. I'll keep me busy. Do I, I don't have under the hood yet, right? Oh, there's gloves in here somewhere. Fearless gloves. 50% chance for two, two, and two. There's leather pants, actually. I want the leather pants. So right now, I think I'm wearing jeans. What am I actually wearing? Yeah, I am wearing jeans. So if we compare the jeans to the leather pants. Let's see. Um, Legs, 95. Leather pants are much warmer. Uh, lower encumbrance, but that's because this is this is actually full right now, so it doesn't really matter. A little bit better in stats, though. That that's the important thing. They're better in stats. Um, I think they both have pockets. I can't. I don't, yeah, you can't really click on this game. <laughs> I have to use like the page down button. Hmm. Capacity. Total capacity is lower in the uh, the uh, leather pants. That's probably fine. I think I want the plus one everything here. Technically, I could wear all the pants on top of each other. You can just keep putting on pants. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it, but you could. So we're going to unload the jeans, which is going to magically load it into my pants. Uh, and we'll, do we'll drop those jeans. There we go. So now, my leather pants have stuff in them. Back scabbard, that is a thing for a sword. All right, yeah, sure, I'll take one of those. You never know, I may encounter a sword. Anything up here on the roof? Anything at all? There's nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I can climb down, that'll be fine. I'm a little surprised zombies never wandered up here. Like, we haven't heard any thumping or anything downstairs, it's a little weird. There's a leather kilt. Not sure if I'd recommend that. 50% chance for sixes. I mean, yeah. Oh, there's like zero encumbrance. Really? Really? I always just thought that was a joke. Maybe I will wear that leather kilt. Yeah, but on the kilt. Now it just kind of looks like I have a chocolate bar on my crotch instead. That's fine. Uh, but my leg encumbrance is like really low still. Uh, movement cost is a little more, but I got a lot more chance at not being mauled, at least on the legs. There's a safe here. I can't do anything with a safe, unfortunately. I need uh, a stethoscope. A stethoscope in about 12 hours. It's not even a joke. It, it takes forever to lockpick a safe. Like about 200 years. Ton of stuff here. Anything I can use. I don't really need to carry around 60 aspirin with me. That may be a bit overkill. Cough syrup, heartburn medicine, an inhaler, shaving, soap. Soap would be useful. And yeah, there's nothing else I can really use here. I, the number one thing I am looking for is disinfectant. The odds of me finding disinfectant probably fairly low. Here's the issue. We know this is all zombies. That's where we left them. But how do we, how do we get down? Because there's zombies on the right side too, and probably on the left side. Maybe we'll just have to just hop along until we find a car to get out of town. If, if the town is full of feral runners, I can't just run out of town. Attempting to do that will just They'll run me down. They have infinite stamina. I do not. Yeah, we're gonna climb. Yeah, see? <laughs> see, there's bad things down here. I don't believe there's a peak function. I don't believe you can peak down. If you can, I haven't noticed it yet. I'm gonna just uh, dip and dive. Look at that minimap down there. Hmm. Hmm, Mr. Minimap. Hmm. It's a couple zombies. Because there's another pond. All right, there's a fire engine here. With, um, is it working? Where are the controls? See? Wait, what? Oh, the controls are right here. I don't think it's got a security system. Wheels destroyed. Ah, the wheels are destroyed. 
about this thing? There's an ambulance there. It's got wheels. Security system's busted. There's a chance. And it's got a gas tank, but it's draining. Have an engine? It's got a battery and it's got a faulty engine. That could be an issue. It may not start up. Should be able to outrun these guys. I'm on flat ground. Ah, he grabbed me. Stop grabbing me. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to start running. Bit too cheeky here. It does have gasoline and a battery. It's just uh, there's a chance it doesn't start. Chance it doesn't start. And this thing didn't have wheels, right? What was wrong with this thing? Ah, the controls are busted. Be driving that anytime soon. I can sneak through the back of this real quick. Hold on a second. Let's see what's in here. Ah, there we go. Ah, no, never mind. That's. No, that stops blood. That, that stops me from bleeding, so that'll be useful. Something. Just uh, walk by a small child. Alright, this thing busted up. Oh, does it have a lot of water in it? Oh, a ton of water, gasoline batteries, it just doesn't have any wheels. Oh no. Oh man, you know what? It's probably got some good armor in it though. Yeah, it's got flame resistant gloves. None of this stuff fits me. I, I should take the firefighter belt at the very least. That'll be very useful. Um, like this stuff, by the way. Really high um, encumbrance and stuff. 100% chance to lock damage. <laughs> it, it's no longer the FTL you've cloaked and you have 45 evasion. You're still taking damage always, all the time. You will always block 5, 8, and 11. Slash acid and fire and environmental. Makes it very good. It's very encumbering. Always blocks damage. That's what you like to see. Can't, don't have time to stop, though. Zombie technician, did you take my pipe? He took my pipe. <laughs> Alright, well, we don't have a weapon anymore. I didn't really need it anyway. What are the odds of this uh, semi is going to work? Well, it does have wheels. Security system destroyed. Is there a... Uh, gas tank around here somewhere car battery car battery works engine works but where oh where would I store the gas tank in a flatbed truck it may not have a it may, uh, backup beeper sure we really want oh oh it's draining but it, it could it could have charge or just gas in it. We don't have. We do not have. My thing to smash open windows anymore. Okay, there's several spent casings in that field. In case anyone was curious, <laughs> I don't know why it's telling me that. There's a crater there. That can't be good. That's probably radioactive and all kinds of other things. Hmm. I have pretty good stamina, but I'm gonna have to get past all those zombies down there. I don't know why it sounds like I'm next to a Half-Life 2 thumper. Someone sold this house up too. Oh, this is open though. Anything I can just grab really quick before I run out because uh, all the other doors are barricaded, so. I don't think there's gonna be anything here I can use. There's splintered wood, I don't know what happened here. Uh, we wanna just skedaddle on by that guy. Also, you may notice this minimap kinda sucks. Um, that happens with the text. Um, when I made the text bigger, the minimap got worse. So I'm not sure how to fix that. Yeah, yeah, there are just, in fact, casings on the floor here. That doesn't help me though. Anything weird around here? All the gasoline's just draining out of the car. I just need enough to get out of town. Feral zombie, please do not. Ignore. Oh, it's clicking. Does it have no gas? It's got no battery. That's not good. Thankfully, they're gonna tear through that while I leave. Looks like we're sprinting through the forest 
and hopes to uh, lose because we can we can break line of sight here now that we're in a it's not a field which is better chance for me to not be dead we're gonna have to make a break for this trailer park though this is like the most scuffed start all right hello <laughs> goodbye slow him down please there's rubbish here no, it's the concrete but it's like all messed up do you want to go down this way? Yeah, I'd rather go back around the back. Oh, that's very bad. That is, in fact, very bad. Hmm. And it's just zombies as far as the eye can see, huh? Hmm. I'll turn that run back on. Why, why does it keep saying I'm hauling items? Yeah, that's... Yeah, I have no idea why they think I'm hauling items. You just smash my arm open. it will be fine. What is that? That is... Does that do anything? Um. Well, it makes friendly dogs help. That man has an axe. Uh, uh, he's throwing a rock. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care about the rock. I do ha uh, care when they smash my arm with an axe, though. Um... None of this is... Oh, good. He's still here. Just keep walking. It's fine. Could you, like, not... I'll try and cut through this house. See that? That's unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah. In the face. There's a ton of zombies out there. I'm gonna have to just move past. I'm gonna have to just eat some damage here. Stamina is a big issue, but there's so many enemies. Out parkour expert. Let's see if we can uh, make it through this door. We cannot make it through that door. Oh no! And now there goes all my Ah, rip. Well. Uh, rip, obviously. That was unfortunate. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just bring up another boy. It's gonna happen. Man, if only there was... Well, one, I wish I had my pipe still. That technician stole my pipe. Also, that was a terrible city. <laughs> Did you see that city? Oh, man.